Hi Soul Kids, it's so good to see you again. So, last week we learned a little bit about the Holy Spirit and we said goodbye to Helen, which is really sad, but it's okay because we're going to still be able to see her around church. So some of you guys might have been in school this week. If that's the case, I really hope you've had a good week and that you've settled in smoothly and everything is going well. So this week we're going to be learning about King Josiah, but first we've got a game. So let's get straight into that. Hey guys, we're going to play our game now and we are going to play Simon Says, which you might think, how on earth are we going to play that across the screen? But we are going to try and do it. So we'd love you guys to join in. So whatever, I'm going to be Simon and whatever I say, you guys are going to have to do. And you have to watch out for if I say, jump up and down. And I haven't said Simon says jump up and down. So you'd be out, okay? So watch for that. Watch for quick things. Watch if I say stop. Um, but join in and we'd love to know if you beat Alice. So if you go longer than when Alice messes up, um, well done to you. Okay, so hope you're ready. Maybe stand up because there might be a bit of movement in this game. I'm going to be trying my hardest, so let's see who wins. Okay. Okay, Simon says jump on the spot. Simon says, spin around. Simon says, put your hands in the air. And put them down. That was close. Did anyone else put their hands down? Okay, Simon says, <laughs> stop spinning. But keep jumping. <laughs> okay, we'll start again. Next round. You can still be in if you, that oh, confused well you. You didn't get as dizzy as I did. <laughs> Okay, Simon says, give me some star jumps. I'm getting tired. <laughs> Simon says, stop. Simon says, freeze pose. And move. Oh, did anyone move at home? Okay, Simon says, do your best dance. Simon says, Run to the side and back. <laughs> Stop! Oh, you messed up! Oh no, that was hard one to keep going. Do so, we do one more round? We can do one more round. If you stopped then, I didn't say Simon says, so Alice should have kept running. We'll do one more round and see if you can beat Alice again. Okay, I'm going to have to think of things. Simon says, tap your shoulder. Simon says, tap your other shoulder. Simon says, swap hands. <laughs> Simon says, tap your head. Tap your shoulder. Oh, no, <laughs> I forgot to wait for the Simon says. Alice that was confusing. Again. Hope you beat Alice, not very hard. Um, <laughs> um, hope you guys enjoyed that and we're gonna worship now. Um, so over to the worship. Hi guys, so we're going to be doing some worship now, so if you want to jump up on your feet, we're going to be doing Be Happy, so feel free to join in. Such a lot when you've got not a lot. What? Be happy. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my praise to heaven. I'm gonna jump up and down, gonna spin right around, gonna praise your name forever. I'm gonna shout out loud, gonna deafen the crowd, gonna send my
Get your life when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Such a lot when you got not a lot. What? Be happy. Wasn't that great, guys? Thank you so much for joining in. So now we're going to go into some of our quieter worship. So you can treat this like a soaking song and you can find a quiet space to lie down and listen to God, or you can join in and sing along. I'm just going to pray to start, so we just put our hands out ready to receive. Yeah, Lord, we thank you for this time together. We thank you that we can come and worship you. Uh, we pray that you just come meet us today and that you make your presence known. Amen.
kicked out by you all set out coming after me there's no shadow you won't light up mountain you won't climb up coming after me there's no wall you won't kick down lie you won't set down coming after me there's no shadow Wasn't that worship great, guys? I hope you really enjoyed it. Maybe even God spoke to you a bit in it. Today, I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about one of the kings over Israel who came after David in the Old Testament in the Bible. We're going to watch a short video now, and then I'm going to come back with a bit of a thought. Stories of the Bible. Josiah. This is Josiah. Hello. Josiah became king of Israel when he was only eight years old. Now the country of Israel had a very long line of kings who did many bad things, including Josiah's father and grandfather. These kings did not follow after God, and they ignored his commandments and his law. But when Josiah became king, he did what God wanted him to and followed the example of King David. Yeah! Eighteen years after Josiah became king, he sent one of his court secretary, Shaphan, to God's temple. Thank you. Many of the kings before Josiah did not take good care of God's house, so it was in need of repair. Hmm. Yeah. While they're in the temple, Hilkiah, the high priest, said to Shaphan, Hey! I have found the book of the law in the Lord's temple. So Shaphan took the scroll back to King Josiah and read it to him. <laughs> when Josiah heard what was in the book, he was greatly upset. Oh, no. Because the people of Israel were not doing the things that God asked him to do. And Josiah knew that God must be angry with Israel for not obeying his commandments. Josiah gathered together all the people of Israel to the temple. <laughs> and read the entire book of the covenant to them. That very day, Josiah and all the people promised that they would obey all of what God commanded with all their hearts and souls. We we promise too. Josiah went on to help Israel become a people fully committed to God. He tore down all the other temples and the idols that they had set up. Yeah. 
he got rid of all the people who were doing bad things all throughout Israel. And he did all that was commanded in God's book. Never before had there been a king like Josiah who turned to the Lord with all his heart and soul and strength, obeying all the laws of Moses. And there has never been a king like him since. Isn't Josiah such an interesting character? He's got such a great story behind him. Now, the story of Josiah is really important because it's, it's all about forgiveness. And Josiah became king when he was just eight years old, which is a really young age. Some of you are eight, some of you are even older than eight. But it's really important because he listened to God. And if you remember the story, his ancestors, the people who came before him, didn't listen to God. And he, they built these big temples and they worshipped other gods, which wasn't just, it was just so wrong and God didn't like that. And Josiah came and God just spoke to him and he lived his life in a godly way. Josiah went and he went to the temple and he found these laws of God that were given to them ages ago. And he listened to God and he tried to do what God wanted him to do. And this was really important because everyone around him was bad and they were sinning a lot of the time. However, he was listening to God for them. And so this meant that they could listen to God through him. And God forgave them, even though they'd done really bad things like worshipping other gods and building these statues and even not looking after the temple where God was. He came and he restored these things and God forgave him and he forgave all the people of Israel. This is really important to us because then we can take this and we can remember that whatever we do, if we ask for God's forgiveness and we listen to what he's saying, he will forgive us and he will be with us in all that we do. And so the message I want to leave with you today is just, just remember that God is with you and he is for you in everything that you do and he will forgive you if you ask for his forgiveness and it's okay to mess up sometimes but God will always be there for you. Okay, I'm going to just pray to finish. So if you want to put your hands out in front of you just to receive God. Yeah, Father, we pr thank you for today. We thank you that we can be together even in our own homes. Thank you that you are with us and thank you for your forgiveness. Thank you that even when we mess up, you can still be with us. Thank you for all that you've done and all that we are. And we ask that today you just go out and be with us in whatever we decide to do. Amen.